Okay, discussion topic. Um, why do you think leveling in Vanilla WoW is fun? Um, I thought this was a great idea for a discussion. I also thought it was a good idea for a video. So I actually like wrote out a script for it. And then as I finished the script, I thought, man, this is dumb. <laughs> Not make a good video. I can probably talk about this as a discussion topic, but this doesn't make a very interesting edited video for the main channel because it's largely just, you know, my opinions on things. And they're not even really good opinions. Um, and I'm actually a little bit more curious about other people's opinions on this than I am just spouting off my opinion as fact. So, what I'll do for this one is actually just read you the script I have. Um, and then open it up for discussions because I'm much more interested in what you guys have to say on this topic than what I have to say. So, um, let me read this. There's something weird about Vanilla WoW, in that while leveling up normally, I actually had a lot of fun. Despite the fact that I absolutely do enjoy the live version of the game, I don't think Vanilla WoW is better. It's definitely fun for its own reason, and I usually get people asking me, why? Generally, people who've never played Vanilla WoW, maybe are fans of Live WoW, or love all the conveniences it have, and can't understand why anyone would want to play a game where you spend most of your time auto-attacking. And I think I know the reason why it's actually an enjoyable thing to level in Vanilla WoW, whereas in the live version of WoW, I find it more of a chore than something that's fun to do. You see, in anime, there's this thing called Gap Moe, where a character is more likable if they have an incredibly contrasting character trait. Like, for example, a delinquent rude character who's a jerk to everyone, but has a soft spot for animals. And I think this kind of applies to vanilla with leveling. Like, for example, let's take leveling as a rogue. You start off with a dagger, and only one dagger at that, with an ability that is meant for harder hitting one-handed weapons than a dagger, and you're playing a class which is built around dual wielding. And you cannot get a better weapon until you hit level 10, which is also the same level in which you're able to learn dual wielding. So, for the first 10 levels, you're hitting things with one dagger, and you kind of get used to killing things a little bit slowly. But then once you hit level 10, you're able to train how to use the sword weapon, for example, and you can equip two of them in both hands, and then you go out and kill stuff, and then find out you have to level up the weapon skills. But after you get those skills leveled up, you notice you're killing things two times faster now. You quite literally double the amount of damage you're able to do in an incredibly short amount of time. And it's this contrast of having an incredibly inconvenient first 10 levels to all of a sudden playing the classes it's meant to be that makes it fun. It's because you have something bad to relate it to. And then when you do get that power increase, it feels so much better. Because you're probably going to go back and work on the same quests as you were working on right before you hit level 10. But now you're completing them two times faster. Which is, psychologically speaking, a little trick into making you feel like you're having a great time. Because of that tangible sense of progression. You can feel your character getting stronger and accomplishing things faster. And it's these little dopamine bursts that make Vanilla WoW enjoyable. And since a huge part of Vanilla WoW leveling is grinding out a ton of monsters, you're also able to feel these combat increases much more than the live version of the game, where the quests are a lot more varied, besides just killing scores of minions. And it's not just that. Hunters have a similar thing where when they hit level 10, they get to train a pet. And then they get two times stronger. The pet will contribute a significant portion of your damage at early levels, and allow you to use your ranged weapon more often, which just leads to overall more damage. Whereas, let's take the live version of WoW for example. Rogues start off with the ability to use every weapon in the game, as well as the ability to dual wield. And of course, you can just create two rare quality weapons with your heirlooms. So, you run around for the first 10 levels, killing things in a reasonable rate, probably less than 5 seconds per mob, and that's just kind of how it continues, until you hit max level. You are definitely leveling up a lot faster, and killing things a lot quicker. But since you're doing this consistently, there's no real sense of progression, even though you're going up in levels very often. 
Sure, you'll learn new abilities like once every 20 levels or so, but you don't really need them to kill things faster. They just give you different buttons to push to kill things in the same amount of time. There's no real contrast, you're just constantly at the top of doing great damage, and it gets kind of boring when you don't really have a sense of progression. And this is where Classic WoW comes in. Since everything takes so long to do, you can definitely feel small power gains much more than you can when you're always at the top. And your sense of progression resets pretty often in Vanilla WoW, where once you start killing things two times faster, as soon as you get your dual wielding or your hunter pet at level 10, in a couple of level, mobs are just going to get stronger and stronger, and you're going to start killing them slowly all over again. But it's a slow enough power creep where you don't really notice it, and it might even take 10 or 20 levels, but this is where your upgrades come to help to alleviate that, as every two levels you get to go to the trainer and learn higher ranks of your baseline abilities, which does make them hit harder, and you notice this as the monsters get stronger and stronger. It takes you more time to kill them each new level, and then all resets when you start killing them a little bit faster again when you get new ranks of abilities, or a new talent that gives you a hard hitting ability so you don't use your auto attack as much. There's a constant sense of progression that makes vanilla leveling fun, and I think the live version of the game doesn't have as joyable of a leveling experience because there isn't really a contrast. You're just constantly at the top, which is why an old game like Vanilla WoW have so many people wanting to play it. They're having a fun time and they don't actually know why. They only know they're having a great time leveling that character who auto attacks things to death. And I hope you now understand why people might enjoy it so much. It's basically just that contrast thing and probably a few other things as well. I'd rather not muddy up my main point by trying to fit in a whole bunch of minor points, when I'm pretty sure that main point is the whole notion of a constant sense of progression with occasional, very noticeable, power increases. Okay, and that's what I wrote for the video that I eventually scrapped because it's dumb. Um, <laughs> I also didn't proofread it, so I had to like pause and like rewrite a couple of the sentences. Um, basically, I wrote this like, I don't know, a week ago, and I will probably add to it a couple of other things now. Um, I'd rather not, I'm just going to use this as a starting point, uh, to get suggestions from everyone else, and then continue this video in the comment response video next week. So, if you have an answer to this question, um, want to refute my point or agree with it, just put them in the comments down below. And I'll pick some at random and answer them in the next video.